हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर मैथ्स टीचर प्रियंका फ्रॉम द सीपीएस एंड आई होप एवरीवन इज फिट एंड फाइन एट होम ओके ओके चिल्ड्रन प्रीवियसली वी हैव डन आर द टॉपिक दैट इज जस्ट ओनली द एचसीएफ एंड द एलसीएम वन इज एचसीएफ एंड वन इज द एलसीएम एंड टुडे आर द न्यू टॉपिक इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एचसीएफ एंड द एलसीएम relationship between hcf and the lcm firstly we have done that hcf afterwards we have done that lcm and now we will discuss about their relationships so means what is the relationship between both of them one is the hcf and one is lcm see here here we are having the two numbers 36 and one is the 42 so firstly we will find the lcm and the hcf of these two numbers means here we are having the two numbers one is 36 and one is 42 and now we will find out the hcf also of these numbers and lcm also of these two numbers okay you know very well previously we have done on um, hcf and lcm you know very well how to find out the hcf and how to find out the lcm firstly you just have to make the factors factors in the sense prime factors you have to make it means firstly you have to make the prime factorization of 36 and afterwards make the prime factorization of the 42 so these are your prime factorization of the 36 and these are your prime factorization of 42 and i told you find out the hcf and the lcm so here firstly find out the hcf of these two numbers and in hcf you know very well you just have to take it common factors common factors are 2 and 3 so this is your hcf and in lcm you just have to take it common factor also and non common factor also common factor also you have to take it and non common factor also you have to take it so this is your lcm you know very well the product of these numbers is 252 6 is your hcf and 252 is your lcm now we are talking about the relationship between these two means hcf and the lcm now we will talk about their relationship so what is the relationship between these um, these hcf and the lcm so here you can see children we have find out their hcf and the lcm of these two numbers same numbers we have taken and we will find out their hcf and lcm this is your first number this is your first number and this is your second number okay so first number so you can see the relationship between them first number multiply with second number is equals to hcf multiply their lcm first number is your 36 and second number is your 40 Two and what is the HCF of this number? The HCF of this number is your six, and the LCM of this number is your two hundred and fifty two. And whenever we have done that multiplication, what do you got it? One thousand five hundred and twelve, and here also we got it one thousand five hundred and twelve. Okay, so now you can see the children. Now you can see the children. So the product of two numbers is equal to their product of their hcf and the lcm take care about that children listen it carefully product of two numbers product of two numbers means these two numbers their product of two numbers is equals to product this is also the sign of multiplication product of their hcf and the lcm means this is the actual relationship between then hcf and lcm product of their numbers is equals to product of their hcf and the lcm okay this is the relationship between them but if sometimes we have to find out their hcf of the two numbers here you can see product of two numbers product of two numbers is equals to hcf multiplied by lcm here you can see multiplied by lcm product of two numbers is equal to hcf multiplied by lcm so if you want to find out the hcf of two numbers that is equal to product of the numbers over product of the numbers and over lcm of these two numbers over lcm of these numbers okay and if you want to find out the lcm of the two numbers then product of these two numbers and hcf is here over hcf of two numbers will become at downside okay take care listen it carefully okay children 
If you want to find out the HCF of two numbers, that time product you have to write it upside and LCM will become downside. And if you want to find out the LCM of the numbers, then product will become upside and HCF will become downside. Okay, product you have to write it upside and interchanging of the HCF and the LCM only. Okay, so we don't worry, don't be bothered about that. With the help of example, it will clear to you. Here you can see we are having an example. The LCM of two numbers, the LCM of two numbers 42 and 77 is this. Means two numbers are these 42 first number. This is your first number and this is your second number. And they are saying the LCM of two numbers 42 and 77 and their LCM is 462. Their LCM is 462 and you have to find out their HCF. What do you have to find out? Find out their HCF. So, how you have to find out the HCF? You know very well the HCF of two numbers is equal to product of the numbers over LCM of two numbers. Product of the numbers over LCM of two numbers. Here you can see. Product of two numbers over LCM. And we have to find out the HCF of two numbers. Which two numbers we are talking about? 42 and 77. Product of two numbers. These are two numbers. Product means you know very well. Multiplication. So, 42 multiplied by 77. And downside which uh, what will come the LCM and their LCM is 462 462 will become a downside and whenever you have done the multiplication and afterwards do the divide and what you got it 7 ok after the calculation what you got it 7 so that means HCF of these two number is here 7 HCF of 42 and 77 is 7 ok children I hope you understood about the relationship of HCF and LCM and I hope it's clear to you. Okay, children, take care and good day.